Yeah, I like I like how his pictures from the Dreamcast version. Registration deleted. E series. Friends must save. All right. So now, Mode yeah, can we actually just go to Windy Valley right away? Do we not have to use the wind key? Uh. Yeah, we still have to use. It. Okay. Wah, wah. But yeah. Um. I do like how Gamma. Ha I do like kind of like Gamma's character development in this like he actually develop even though he's a robot he actually kind of develops as a character a little bit and I also like how fast he is when he grabs something like jeez but yeah I, I like uh, Gamma as a character overall in this like I do think it's good that he was a one-off thing because I think if he was a reoccurring character it would have lost the whole point of Gamma and there wouldn't really be anything for him to do past this game so I think it was a good idea had to have him be a one-off character for this series and I do again I do like him in this so like, he has pretty decent character development uh, as a ro as much as a robot can get anyway and I don't know I I, I like how they handled it like his uh, story in this game um, he's honest uh, when it comes to like individual stories in SA1, I think he probably has the one of the better ones, uh, at least for me. Like, I like how Amy gets more independent, and so does Tails and all that. Knuckles doesn't really do too much, uh, to be honest. But like, yeah, and Sonic just does his does his thing, saves the uh, goes to, to defeat Eggman to save the day and all that. Um, but yeah, Gamma is a lot there's a lot more um emotion to it i guess like i don't know it's weird i i don't know how to explain it but i just feel like he ha he has a lot more uh mo emotion with like the stuff that go that goes on in this in his story especially with like the ending and stuff and when you see when you see like all the e-series like get teleported and you don't know what's happened to them and like beta is like getting pretty much completely re, re does like remade or rebuilt. And I mean, yeah, I I would say Gamma has the best individual story overall. A lot like tells I like tells and Amy's like stories as well. Uh, again, Knuckles is he does Knuckles things. <laughs> Big is pointless. And I've already talked about that. But yeah, I just think that Gamma has the most emotion put into his story. But yeah, that's that, that yeah, that's just how I feel. Um But yeah. I mean I do like I I do like Omega and Heroes and Shadow. Like some of the stuff he says is pretty funny and He's an entertain entertaining in the sense that he's always super serious about wanting to destroy Eggman and all that. But it come it, the way they uh, write it, write his dialogue comes makes it come off as like funny. How he like he it's funny how he's always always serious and all that. But um, when uh, yeah, you all know like with 06 they just completely killed Omega, and then past that we haven't really seen him in the main game, which is kind of a shame because I do like Omega and I kind of wish he does come back soon. But yeah, either way though, yeah, when it comes to level design, I'm not too big on Gamma. Like it's definitely better than Amy and Ga uh, Amy and Big, but there's not too much to these levels. Like most of it is the same areas we've been through before. The only one that comes to the only one that's like really different compared to the other stories is the uh, hot shelter and that's the last level for gamma i believe and i mean it's the level design is pretty cool there but everything else here is like we've already seen all this stuff with sonic and i mean 
it's still fun to just go through and blast everything, but there, there like aren't any really any unique set pieces with Gamma, with uh, most of his stages, and like they only they had a couple of new obstacles, like some hammers that weren't there before, and like stuff to blow up and, and more enemies there for you to destroy. But other than that, it's pretty much the same as Sonic. But yeah, it's like I that that's another reason why I prefer the Mexican SA2 because like the level design is unique for those stages and they have a lot more interesting set pieces from in my opinion and like the level design is just in general a lot more involving in a sense. It's like this is yeah, the level design in, for Gamma. It, it it's just not that interesting. And as you know, the bosses are st stupidly easy, like, you d again, you don't, have to, you don't even have to try. It's the easiest boss fights in the series, like, bar none. You can say the Sonic 1 Green Hill boss or Emerald Hill boss, but you at least had to avoid an attack. Like, with this, you can just spam B and nothing will hit you. Epsilon. Rescue mission accomplished. E-105 Zeta. E-101 Beta. Location unknown. Perhaps aboard the egg carrier. I guess maybe... Well, actually, no, was it nighttime when Knuckles saw Gamma here? Because I was wondering, like, if this would take place when Knuckles sees Gamma. Gamma. Um, but no, I think it was day. I don't know, man. Like, sometimes it's a little bit hard to figure out where, like, when, so, uh, when every, where everything, like, takes place in a uh, conjunction within each other or whatever, but I, I don't know, man, like I, because Gamma never jumped to that place in the, in the day, so like, I, I, I don't know, man, I'm gonna stop thinking about this this is where I'm gonna go, right or did I just have to go, yeah I don't think I have to go here I, just to make sure, I just this is just going to make me go to the final egg area, right? Yeah, my bad. Okay. Right, let's just go. You know, I just have to go all the way back. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, I. The, the, it's not as bad as Sodiana Forest or anything like that. But I'm not too big on the the jung little jungle area here. Like, it's not too bad with certain characters like, if they're decently fast. But with Amy I'm, or Big, um. Gamma's alright, but yeah, with Amy and Big though, it's really annoying to traverse through this area. Um, it's like, since you can't, you can only see like what's ahead of you, it makes it a little bit hard to know where you're going. Like, you're gonna have to look at the map constantly if you want to go to a specific place. Alright, I don't want to go to Station Square though, so screw you! Love this weird music. 
shelter. E-Series location confirmed. Unlocking hot shelter sector now. All right. And now we're going to go to go inside the air carrier. But before we go to the hot shelter, we're going to get another upgrade. So, if we... Go, okay, it's over here. I do like how the hub world. Okay, what the hell is going on? Yeah, I do like how the hub worlds have different like sections and all that. Wait, is this the right place? The mission room. No, it's wrong. Okay. So if we go here, jump down, and then we get an upgrade. Here's your laser blaster. Its blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. Yep. It doesn't really help too much. It basically just, yeah, like, like Takal says, it basically just makes a bla a huge blast appear when you shoot something, and I guess it can kind of help, like when, like trying to kill as many enemies as possible but you actively instinctively just gonna kill like target everything anyway so it doesn't really change a lot so you just shoot shooty shoot <laughs> but yeah this is the most the more the most interesting level for for gamma like there's well here we're going through Amy's section but Sooner or later, we're going to go through areas that we haven't seen before with Hot Shelter. And, I mean, like, Big kind of had, kind of has, like, a few sections unique to him. But as I said in his story, you don't ever need to explore, explore his Hot Shelter. It's like, if you want to just beat Big and be done with his story, which I'm assuming a lot of you want to do that, just go to the main circle, circular room. Get froggy and let get out. <laughs> but yeah, I think right now we're gonna go to a gamma section. Yep, now we're going to exclusive territory with gamma, and this is where it gets a little bit more interesting with the level design. And it's just kind of a shame for me. Like, I, I, I think gamma controls fine enough. Like he's, it's fun enough to aim and and, and destroys. And like kill as many enemies as possible, and the con the aiming works relatively fine. I think honestly, I think the the um, aiming works a lot better with the mechs personally. Uh, like I feel like it's a lot easier to like spin around and target m multiple enemies at once compared to Gamma, but he still does it fine enough. But um, what is it? <coughs> Like, I, it's just kind of a shame that is we've had to wait until the end of Gamma's story to actually get interesting and unique level design for him. Like, everything everything before this was just some stuff we've seen with other campaigns, mainly Sonic, but yeah. I, I just wish there was more stuff like this with Gamma. And you have this whole section, like, trade section. It's like, radical train except fun. <laughs> Well, I, I don't hate Radical Train, at least with Sonic, like, I, yeah, uh, 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 well, <laughs> I don't know, man, like, it, it depends if you can, like, if you don't, like, lose the train or whatever, like, if you have run out of time in Radical Train, then yeah, it's a pain, but, yeah, I don't know, I don't hate Radical Train, but it's, no, it's not something I'm too fussed about. Well, another Sonic 06. Alright. 
And here we, this is a good place to rack up on score because there's a bunch of monkey robots here. And th this is the main, like the main area that I, where I, that makes me kind of say that the SA2 aiming is better because it, it takes a lot longer to spin around and aim at all these monkey robots compared to how it would be with uh, the mechs. Like with the mechs, it, the, um, like the, what was it? Like, parts of the mech move separately to others, like the body moves separately to the cockpit and all that, so it makes it easier for the mech to move, like, move around and, sh and uh, aim compared to Gamma. But they, but they also did that so you aren't as slippery as well. And he's done. Yeah, you have to actually aim at his, like, little gun things, but it's still really easy. But yeah, it's, if you know what you're doing, the level's, th that level's not too bad, but if you don't, it, you can easily time out. But that went a lot smoother than I expected, so that's good. Alright, now we just have to fight Beta. So let's go here. E-105 Zeta rescue complete. Units remaining. Beta. Yes. <laughs> All right. Can I go through here? Nope. All right. And now, for a boss that you actually have to think about what you're doing, it's not just shoot and win. Basically what you want to do is wait until he does that charge attack, then hit, him, hit his uh, back. And he, had, he has a few interesting attacks, like, um, he doesn't have many like uh, that many attacks. Like he has, he shoots a barrage of missiles at you. At some points, he does, he like shoots like these uh, cannon things or balls of energy or something. And that's really about it, really. Like he just does all that and then charges, at, charges, at, charges at you. Um, but yeah, it's not a, a really, it's not really a hard boss. But I do like the music. It's fun to fight this guy at least, and I mean, it's one of the more fun bosses in the game, really, because really, there aren't a lot of bosses that I like, legitimately like in this game. This is probably one of the one of the few bosses I get a kick out of in this game. Like, I Kill Six is all right, but there's not anything. There isn't anything too special to him. Chaos Two is a decent fight, I suppose, um, but. Uh, yeah, there just there just isn't a lot of fun and interesting bosses in this game for me. Like this is one of the few fun like, guys, uh, fun bosses to fight. Yeah, just die even more. Mission complete. Yeah, I like how they make make it so Beta doesn't explode because. They have it saved for a cutscene, which I think is cool. Like, they make the gameplay go into the cutscene and all that. Which, the I think well, SA2 does it does game like gameplay to like cutscene to gameplay better. Like, oh, this specific thing happened game for the like gameplay wise, 
so that affects this in the next cutscene and stuff like that. Like, SA2 does that better, but still. It's cool that they did that for this. And as we're gonna see now, Gamma has to basically sacrifice himself because, well, we'll see. Yeah, well, you'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, man, how big of an explosion do you need? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it abruptly ends there. But, um, yeah, basically, I just want to go through this quickly because I don't usually talk through these credits. But, yeah, basically what was going on there is that Gamma and Beta were part of the bird's family like Lily like there were Lily's parents basically and going back to that cutscene with Amy and like the bird in the cage and in the prison cell another theory I can say I can say like why um, Gamma saved them would be that he saw the pendant and like um, like the Lily and the parents there and like he may have sub subconsciously like recognized recognized himself there and like just the family in general like his what he should be because gamma was D gamma technically didn't die um he's technically the bird and he like recognized oh that's what i'm actually that's who i actually am and that's why he's like i gotta save the e-series because like they're the <laughs> what was it they're basically the animals it's like with the uh, classic games, like, the uh, animals are turned into robots. The robots don't technically die, they just go back to who they were before, like, the actual animals. And, like, with um, Gamma and Beta, it's the same thing. Like, they don't, they didn't die necessarily, or even, or any of the other E-Series robots. They were saved and turned back into the animal that they were supposed to be. Um, and yeah <laughs> that's basically what was going on there and we do see gamma in bird form in uh, final story so yeah, with, with that said though i uh, i've gone on enough for the credits but yeah it, it kind of ends kind of abruptly with gamma but either way thanks for watching gamma's story and i'll see you guys for the finale of sonic adventure see you guys then